What's up, taters? This is Tree from treeoflogic.com, and you knew I had to talk about this story. You knew it, didn't you? First of all, I had to talk about it for two reasons. I'm a former police officer of five years, and two, this is my hometown of DMV. Many of you know I was born and raised in Southeast DC, and then my father took custody of me at the age of 11, and we moved to Capitol Heights and moved from Capitol Heights to Largo, Maryland. Both of those cities are within Prince George's County, also known as PG County, where this thing happened. Okay, now if you don't know what we're talking about, you have no clue, you're gonna be in for a treat and if you do know what happened honey let me tell you something the story gets even better so sit back relax don't forget to leave a like and let's get right on into it so look this video which was taken by some mexicans they got tired of mr get down and friendly picking up this chick and like getting in the back seat of his squad car first of all let me just say this as a police as a former police officer I have seen this and many other times. And first of all, this is a, how are you doing it so boldly in broad daylight? With witnesses, like when the police officers, they all hoes. Let me just tell you, I don't, don't, let, um, I don't mean to, to throw my brothers in blue underneath the bus, but you guys, ooh, child. Ugh, ugh, I wouldn't mess with you. That's one thing. Let's, nobody can sit up, they want to sit up here and say, Female police officers will get with uh, other male officers. N uh, not when I was one. We saw them for who they were. They were ho ho hoes. Anyway, let's play this video because I guess that the original guys, and you're gonna hear them speaking in, um, you're gonna hear them speaking in Spanish. And uh, oh boy, just in broad daylight in his squad car, picks up his mistress and do a little mm, I meet you baby mm, come on let's get in the back seat of my car and get down okay let's get it on so let's watch this this <laughs> is I can't believe it. they did this in broad daylight watch this watch this Mira, pisando está, man. look at it just feeling all over her no, butt no, 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 no. Vaya. hugging on her mirabe, pa atrás la lleva, mirabe. Like, oh, I can't wait. Open it up, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Open it up. Open it up. Yeah. Get in there, girl. Get in there. Yeah. You know how to do it. Hey, yo. 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 Okay, this is a police vehicle. They are in the back there. Uh, now, they said they were kissing. I don't know. I, I mean, I would, uh, who knows? I don't, you don't know what they're doing because the, the windows are tinted, okay? So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, this went viral on Twitter. Everybody in their mom and pappy done seen this video and they was like, oh my God, I'm okay with uh, Blue Lives Matter, but girl, okay, can you dial it down some? So let's see what happens once the, once the chief of the PG County Police finds out about this and spoiler alert, he is on suspension uh, until further investigation. So let's listen to the news article. Oh, what is uh, this news uh, network cover the story. Breaking new updates related to that video, getting a lot of attention online right now. We show this to you at five o'clock. It seems to show a uniform Prince George's County police officer embracing and kissing a woman and then getting into the back seat of a department SUV with her. Well, less than two hours ago, WUSA 9 learned that officer has been suspended. I'm Leslie Foster. I'm Lorenzo Hall. This video, of course, is sparking a serious discussion about that officer's conduct. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz has been closely following this developing story all day today. He joins us live tonight in Oxon Hill with some brand new reporting in the Rafa. Oxon Hill, is that what? Okay, hold on. I don't know what part of PG this police officer is, is uh, patrolling. I don't know if it's Oxon Hill, Suitland, Largo. I have no idea, but I guess we're about to find out, honey, okay? What else are you learning about this officer in question here? Lorenzo, well, in the last 30 minutes, Prince George's County Police confirmed that this is Officer Francesco 
uh, Martlet's second suspension this year. He was let go of his duties for 30 days sometime between May and June, according to police. Now, the details into that first suspension have yet to be released. We're also learning that the Internal Affairs Unit at Prince George's County Police is leading an investigation into the officer's conduct and what happened behind that police car just yesterday. Now, the person that recorded the video said he shot it and it all happened here yesterday around 7 in the afternoon at South Lawn Park in Oxen Hill near Oxen Hill High School. At first, you can see the Prince George's County police officer's arms wrapped around the woman's waist, and it appears that he kisses her on the head. Officer Marlette, who is in uniform, then walks with his arm around her shoulder. She attempts to open the Prince George's County police car door, which is locked. He unlocks it for her. She proceeds to get in the back of the cruiser, and then he follows and closes the door. This is it's all gone. This is so bold. Oh my God. <laughs> let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me tell you guys something. The men, because I work the graveyard shift, okay? Graveyard shift is from 11 at night, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So, uh, yeah, there, the stuff that they did, they did at night uh, behind buildings. Um, in parking lots, uh, you know, th places where you couldn't be found. And like to sit up here and go into a apartment complex or maybe a townhouse complex, I'm not sure, I can't tell. And just go into the parking lot and just do this all willy nilly. You, <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you, dude? But it's not the second time he's done. It. I mean, this is not the first time he's done this. Uh, there's other video footage. That I'm going to show that later on. So let's get through this one first. Going on as children are seen running in the park. And according to neighbors, there were several families with kids present when this was all taking place. Now, this viral video has prompted up. Ah, this is it. This is the second video. OK, so they got the second video. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the video I have in queue. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and watch it here because I, I, I did collect, I did do some research to see all the stuff I need to know about this case. And so this is this this is the same squad car, same police officer, same mistress, uh, same back seat. Okay. There's to share a similar situation at another Prince George's County Park. A woman exits a silver car that seems to be the similar a similar vehicle seen in the first video, and she proceeds to get in the back of the Prince George's County Police SUV 6077. Prince George's County Police has yet to confirm whether this is the same off. It is the same. It is the same. Officer involved in these two videos. We're expected to get more details tomorrow. So far, they're telling me that tonight they're not releasing any more information regarding this viral video that's still getting a lot of reactions. <clears throat> I'm live in Oxon Hill, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, W. USA 9. Looks like if that other video is connected, they've got a whole lot to sort through, Rafa. Thank you. He's breaking new fired. updates related. He's about to get fired, honey. He's going to he's going to lose his job. So let's look at the pictures because some of you probably some of you are probably thinking like, well, I don't see what's the big ruckus. I mean, he was probably just basically having a conversation with her, you know, saying blue lives matter and cops like to listen to a lot of distressed people. You know, you may not know she could have had a bad day. Honey, does this look like she <laughs> look at his hand? I mean, his hand right on that, but don't get don't. Do they still call them Badunk or they just call them just booties now? I mean, she just came dressed to impress and everything like that. I mean, <laughs> this guy. So it's like so obvious. So obvious, dude. Ebony and Navarre. <laughs> I'm not hating that. Why would I hate, okay? Why would I hate something like this? But I'm just saying. You did this in the back seat of the car. This is so bold. But honey, it gets better. Now, this is what they look like. Okay. I, I just want you to um let me let me tell you who's the wife and who's the mistress. Okay. This is the wife. This is the mistress. Talks amongst yourselves, okay? Mm. Okay. <laughs> so this is what it says. Update. Rotten hell. Boop. Wife of Maryland police officer clashes with mistress after officer caught on camera cheating in police car. Get this. Homegirl 
but the wifey already knew about the mistress. Now, let me make sure you guys understand who's the wife and who's the mistress. This is the wife. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I, you ain't got to tell me. I totally get it, right? The wife knew about this chick and that the wife was saying that her husband, officer, uh, officer liked to touch and <laughs> touch and feel in the back seat, okay? Been having an affair with old girl for not one, not two, but three years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, three years. So I got her crying about, oh, I don't know, I'm so humiliated, I'm so humiliated. But girl, you ain't gonna leave him, are you? You're going to sit up here and take these huge L's, but you're going to stand by your man, huh? Okay. All right. Do your thing, girl. I'm, I'm not even going to have, I'm not even going to uh, be mad at that. Let me darken this up so I can um, read this better, okay? All right. This morning, the Gateway Pundit reported on a viral footage of a uniformed Prince George's County, Maryland police officer appearing to kiss a woman and get in the back seat of his patrol car with her. Watch here. We already watched it. We don't need to watch it again, okay? Get yourself a room if you need it. It turns out that the officer was having an affair. The officer has been identified as Prince George's County Officer Francisco Marlett. Your mama named you Francisco? <laughs> The woman was identified as Marlette's wife on social media as uh, Virginia Pinto. In a now-deleted Facebook post, Paula Marlette, the wife of Francisco Marlette, spoke out on a viral video and said, quote, I love you all, except for you, Virginia. You can rot in hell, boop. Oh, girl, I guess you, listen. I guess you done told her, but she gonna still see your man, okay? Oh, Let's be clear. Shot. She gonna still share your man, okay? Y'all gonna share your man, okay? She gonna still see him. The wife of the Merlin cop caught on a viral video kissing another woman and taking her into the back of his patrol car sparked a war of words with his mistress Wednesday, telling her to rot in hell be word. There goes my husband and his mistress, Paula Marlette wrote on Facebook alongside the 47 second clip of her now suspended cop husband, Francis. I'm gonna have a hard time. I'm just gonna call him because I this name Fran Francisco. I'm just call him uh, Cisco. We'll say Cisco. Okay, that sounds better than you know Francisco. What's wrong with you, Ugh. Cisco Marlette, in a comp in a compromising position with another woman. Quote, I'm not doing okay. It's constantly popping up in my effing news feed and I have to constantly rewatch it. Well, you don't really have to constantly rewatch it. You can <laughs> you can just like uh turn off the computer or just like delete it or something or block it. I have to constantly rewatch it over and over again, she said in a viral video, which made the rounds on TikTok and Instagram on Monday. Quote, this is a very tough time for me and my kids. Paulus also wrote um, early Wednesday on the embarrassing and painful experience. Yes, I know what's been going on, she said, publicly naming the woman filmed with her hubby as Virginia Pinto. Screenshots of the back and forth on Facebook show that Pinto responded accusing Marlette of cheating on her husband for a while now. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute now. Your husband is cheating on you, but you was cheating on your husband? Well, who did it first? That's all I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So <laughs> she's just uh, telling her, quote, don't be mad at me because your husband wants me out. Boom, headshot. Oh, girl. Okay, can we get some... Uh, some ice for that burn okay i am going to go oh, let me just do this shout out to uh lovely tea okay uh i am a secret tea sipper all right i do love this woman i've been a fan of hers for years i would have to say at least 10 years okay maybe a little longer but uh i decided to take her screenshots and read them to you okay because uh, let me tell you something this is so perfectly put here that i just because i can see it better 
and it looks a little cleaner on on lovely t screenshot than this let me look at this this is just this is so sloppy so let's li read the first screenshot of the facebook post uh from the wife <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. Yes, this is a very tough time for me and my kids. As embarrassing and painful as this is, please check in on us. We need the support, love, and most of all, the respect from the community in our families. Yes, I know what's been going on. No, I am not updating anyone on the situation after today. Virginia's husband's left her ass a long time ago because she cheated. So she and my husband decided to do this behind my back for years. I'm not seeking anyone else's input. I don't need anyone's opinion. My life is my life. I will make decisions accordingly. I love you all. Except for you, Virginia. You can rot in hell. Boop. Virginia Pinto, I guess. What is this? What? Is, what? Hey, what does this like? A U-turn. I, I guess you can. I guess that is a U-turn, Virginia. You can turn back around. Okay, hold on a second. <clears throat> Virginia's husband left her. Oh, we get some more tea, girl. We breaking it down. So Paula said that the mistress' husband left her because the mistress cheated on her husband with Paula's husband, Cisco. <laughs> and it's been going on for many years. Okay, so we got Paula's uh, input on this. Let's go to the mistress, shall we? All right, here's the mistress, Virginia Pinto, okay? So Virginia said, not that I owe anyone an explanation. This girl has been cheating on her husband for a while, now herself. What? Everybody doing the cheating? Well, honey, she said you was cheating on your husband. That's why your husband done left you because you was cheating on your husband with her husband. And now you saying that the reason why you are cheating on her husband with, you know, you were cheating on your husband with her husband because she was cheating on her husband with somebody else? Was it the Pookie or the Ray Ray? I don't know. It, would, it could have been, you know, Tyrone. I don't, I'm not sure. Call Tyrone, okay? All right. I, <laughs> she said... Everyone, look, this is life, and y'all know nothing, okay? I bet she was rolling her up. Nothing. Y'all know nothing. I've done nothing wrong. All I want to say is y'all have the wrong info. Paula Marlette isn't saying the whole story, which I understand, but please don't be mad at me because your husband wants me, okay? Oh, that's Girl, mm. I can't with these people. Holy smokes. Hold on, hold on. So it gets better. Okay, so I want to read this because they, they did some interviews with uh, New York Post, right? So let's go read this. I mean, I'm telling you, this is so much fun. Mistress Femme Kissing Married Marilyn Man Cop is a mom who alleged two-year-long uh, fling. I've done nothing wrong. Actually, it's three years. Okay, come on, New York Post. Get your fact checking straight, okay? All right, here we go. So here we go. The woman filmed making the woman filmed making out with a married Maryland cop in the streets before joining him in the back of his squad car remains unapologetic after they're mm, bumping and grinding and you know maybe but then again he got that gun belt on so I don't think they've been doing no bumping and grinding. Maybe she went and just you know you know. Virginia Pinto told the Post her relationship with now suspended Prince George's County police officer Cisco Marlette was not a one night stand and the pair have been seeing each other for about two years. Oh, what a miss. The wife said y'all been seeing each other for three years. <clears throat> okay, that's the main story. That this isn't a thing, uh, excuse me, that this isn't a little thing, she said. Adding, of course, since he's a police officer, it looks bad. You think? He's supposed to serve and protect the community, not serve and protect you, girl. But I ain't hating, okay? Do you? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> But I just want people to understand that this was not a one-night stand. Pinto was first identified by Morlet's wife, Paula, 
who told her to rot in hell B word in a fiery Facebook post Wednesday morning, just hours after her husband was suspended from the department, who launched an investigation into his conduct as the video went viral. Despite the publicity of the scandal, Pinto, a proud Army veteran, appeared collected and unfazed as she spoke about it. Mm, why, why should she be unfazed, honey? Okay. She been cheating on yo. She been, she got your man with your permission because you didn't even stop it. You didn't leave your man. You just let it happen. You just decided to just turn the other cheek. That's what happens when you have low self-esteem. Take notes, ladies. Okay. All right. I'm just telling you, you need to be on it. All right. What's so exciting? He's a cop. I'm a civilian. Wait a minute. Let, okay. What? Your bre What? What's so exciting? He's a cop. I'm a civilian. We got caught. It sucks. Or did you suck? But this will pass, she said. I'm living my life. I have children. I'm sure as you guys know, I have a 15-year-old autistic boy. His father was Caucasian. I, get, I, get, I guess I have a thing for Caucasian. Girl, you what? Girl, I know my God. Boom, Girl, I know, right? Ain't nothing like white men, okay? I'm not hating on you, but you got to do something privately so you don't be having all your business blasted in front of the goddamn world, okay? What's going on with you? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with the vanilla ice cream, okay? I'm with you, girl, but jeez, have some decorum, all right? All right, here we go. <laughs> man, I swear, the white man always taking Ws. In my head, I've done nothing wrong. I've, I'm going to continue living my life, which means she's still going to be continue dealing with this man, doing what I'm doing in my heart. It's uh, in his heart. I know that I've done nothing. Well, you committed adultery, but he did too. So it, anyway, he knows, Paula knows, I'm, I've done nothing wrong. God is my higher power. No, you did not bring God into this. You, Hazi, you are an adulterer. You are committing adultery with this man. You know he's married. Okay. Thou should not trespass. All right. What you doing? I know that's not no white man's baby right here. You must talk about the, uh, the, the autistic one. Okay. All right. So there we go with the Lord have mercy. You can tell that this is nothing but lip tarred black people. Okay. Look at all those piercings in that nose and in this lip. And of course, the color hair always gives it away. It looks like he got a type, though. He likes them with natural hair. So, okay, that's something else. Paula has much stronger words about the situation in a statement to the Post Wednesday evening. Seems that seems like Virginia has a mouthful to give a. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let me, let, me, let me read this again. <clears throat> Seems like Virginia has a mouthful to give about me when her husband left her dirty. Oh my God. When, her, when she left her dirty butt because she can't step, she can't uh, stop cheating and inserting herself into other people's business. She texted. My husband used her for sex because she was easy. Ow! Damn! <laughs> Girl! Wait a minute! Hold up! But you the you the wife! You the wife! If if what are you saying? You ain't giving him none, so he got to rely on Paula? What's, uh, what, what, come on, girl. What, this the, make it make sense to me. I don't understand. This, this is not the daggone own you think it is. Holy smokes. Anyway, he gave her broken promises so she would give him some uh, kitty cat. <laughs> She's easy. I never put our marriage out there because like all marriages, we hit a rough patch. Um, I think this is more than a rough patch. I think this is a deep, deep pothole, girl. Okay. All right. Like, you got to address the fact that your man is cheating and you knew about it. 
All right, here we go. Uh, we get we get through everything at the end of the day. Oh, stand by your man. Woo! Through thick and thin as he starts sharing himself with the community. God, this is this is this is one of the best stories I have ever read this year. I'm telling you, it is. All right, I'm I'm almost finished, and I'm kind of getting depressed because it's the video's almost done. In the 47 second video, Pinto and a un uniform Marlette were seen kissing and hugging and doing the nasty, engaging in some very heavy petting next to his squad car as he was parked near a child field park next to Oxen Hill High School. <clears throat> then, uh, they then climbed in the back seat together where witnesses say they stayed for 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm sure um, they weren't really doing any talking if you know what I mean. Ooh, girl. Before leaving uh, separately, according to the Baltimore uh, banner, uh, a second video has also uh, since emerged, which appeared to show Pinto sneaking into the Prince George's County Police Cruiser, which appears to be Marlette's on a separate occasion. After Paula called out Pinto for home wrecking on Facebook, the mistress returned fire with a post of her own where she accused the wife of cheating herself, but refused to comment further when pressed about the claims Wednesday. Quote, I'm not going to tell you that. Come on. I can't tell that to you. There's no bad guy in all of this. We're all the bad guys, I guess she said. <laughs> Girl, so you shameless. You shameless up here for it. You are shameless. All right. <clears throat> From what I read in the reports, allegedly, in May, he got suspended for domestic violence. That, what, what? It's just different. He got suspended for domestic violence. Oh, my goodness. That should uh, prove right there. Ding, 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 ding. Maybe something's not great in their relationship. Boom! Headshot! Girl, if he hits on his wife, he gonna hit on you too. You ain't an exception to the rule. What's wrong with you? Now, people will understand, we'll see, that no marriage is perfect. He just happens to be a police officer. And they're such whores. I'm telling you, police officers are hoes. Girls, don't waste. Unless they are fat which I don't like fat police officers. But the only ones that don't seem to get all the action are the fat ones and the very old ones. Other than that, um, it don't even matter what you look like in the face. You could be busted in the face and you still gonna get some women coming after you. Tell myself, lock me up, officer. Feel good. Marlette was briefly suspended in May and previously in 2016 after being indicted for child abuse. And he hitting kids too. Okay, this guy is a POS. After he uh, allegedly spanked a girl, a, a girlfriend's three-year-old son so badly, the boy lost consciousness. Uh, Prince George's Police Department. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Why is he still a police officer? Oh my God, dude! I don't understand police departments today. This right here, automatic firing. You would have automatically been terminated. The boy lost consciousness at three years old. You're beating somebody else's son at, at three years. That's not even your son. You're beating somebody else's son and he lost consciousness at the age of three years old. And you're, st and you're still a police officer doing this? Okay, now I'm getting mad. I, I don't, I, I'm getting mad now because I, I cannot believe that this guy is still a police officer after that. What's going on with Prince George's County? Okay. The Prince George's County Police Internal Affairs Division later ruled both of those allegations were unfounded. Okay. Well, I mean, ugh. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, I don't. I believe the child. I believe the child. The child. How would the child lose consciousness? You know what I'm saying? For nothing? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna, I, I don't, I don't believe the, the division. I know this is gonna shock you guys, I'm sorry. When it comes to children, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm gonna take their side over it, you know what I'm saying? I know women lie, but not children. I mean, well, in this case, a child. 
Uh, Pinto said those incidents and the current scandal did not uh, get in the way of her feelings for Marlette, but wouldn't speculate about uh, their future together. Uh, it uh, quote, if course there, uh, if course, if course, what girl, this woman don't know how to speak. If course there's, I guess she says, of course, of course there's feelings, of course. I'm not going to hide that, she said. Police acknowledged both, both videos in an updated Wednesday and reiterated that they will be that they were investigating Marlette. He gonna get fired. He gonna get fired for this one. I know the officer's actions seen on this video have sparked a range of emotions in the community and put a negative spotlight on this agency and the many hardworking women and men who were who wear our uniform. The chief uh, Malik Aziz says, that's definitely a black person. I expect every officer to conduct themselves in a way that will not dishonor this agency or this county. I assure the residents of Prince George's County, I take the matter extremely serious. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and I think I got that video again. Let me just, if I can just do this here. So this is the second version of it. And then we're gonna get her. This is the wife crying, boo hoo, a boo hoo. My man is cheating and he, I let him, but I didn't do nothing about it. A boo hoo, a boo hoo. But you know, she embarrassed me. So here we go. Now y'all go ahead and take a look at this video. PGPD is bunning outside in public in uniform with the patrol car and they don't need a kid. And y'all, they did this before. Cause look at Shorty. She go smack Rachel for the door. He go unlock it. And y'all look at her next move. Bing, bing. She in there. Look. Kids running past all oh, that, y'all. My man, he getting the view real quick. Now, they back there. Anybody that know about that backseat action, y'all, y'all already know what's going on. This is the craziest stuff I ever seen, though. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm, trust me, I've seen some crazier things. <clears throat> so anyway, so this is the last uh, bit piece I have to give you guys. This is the wife. Now... This is what I'm going to say is that I don't care about her tears. She knew they were, she knew her husband was having an affair. Okay. From my understanding, I was doing some research on both of them. He has a child from a previous marriage or a previous baby mama. Yeah. I don't even know if they were married and that child is all white, by the way. And then she has two kids and those kids. Now here's the thing. I, I, those kids don't look mixed to me. So I don't know if that's the reason why she won't leave because, you know, he brought baggage with her baggage and together they're able to make it work or something. I'm not sure. Uh, honey, I don't know. But anyway, let's listen to her crying with this old ugly thing in her nose. It just hurts so bad. It's only excuses. Oh, I was just talking to her. Three years. Same person. See, talk. see, she said three years. I knew. I said, wait a minute. She said three years. And I told you that she said three years. I didn't make that up. She said it out of her own mouth. They can't even keep the lie up. It was two years or three years. Which one is it? I mean, let's rewind that again. She just said three years. I was just talking to her. Three years. Same person. We still talking? You ain't going nowhere, girl. You do that, a boo-hoo, a boo-hoo, they're crying all you want to, you ain't leaving. So you just got you got embarrassed. She's not going to stop messing with your man. Your man is not going to stop messing with her. And you is not, you're not going to leave your man. So it looks like you all are in a poly relationship. And what you want to do about money, because he is going to get fired. He's going to probably have to, here's, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction <clears throat> and then I'm going to end the video. I predict that he's going to be told by the chief that, hey, we're going to fire you for this. Now you have an opportunity to resign uh, and possibly work somewhere else, 
or we can go ahead and just fire you and you know and you could just go up and just it, good luck trying to be a police officer somewhere else you know what i'm saying because he's too young to retire <clears throat> so he can't even do that so it's either get fired or resign and i think he's gonna resign so yeah this is and but here's the deal he's gonna be unemployed what you gonna do about money because they do make decent money in PG County as a PG County police officer. So, yeah. And they got all those kids. They got three kids. And, and they live in a nice uh, townhouse in Suitland, Maryland. So, yeah. This is, this is a hot mess. Hot mess. But let me know what you think. I, you know what? I don't even know what question to ask in reference to this. I can't even say, should she leave him? Because she's not. So, there's no need for... Um, there's no need for uh, us to go there. I guess my question is, what do you think about all of this? Uh, I hope you all don't allow this to taint your views on all police officers, but I'm just letting you know, I know about the men in the police department. And yeah, they that testosterone level go really high. But am I wrong? Am I right? Oh, oh and you know what else? He's also a Marine. Oh, <laughs> <that> <laughs> Okay, so it's like, why did you marry him? Girl? Well, I know, that's to say, he probably was the only one who was going to basically bring his baggage to her baggage. Because like I said, she got two kids. They look darker than her. And I kid you not, they look darker than her. And then he brought his child, which looks lighter than him. So I'm like, they just probably bond their family together uh, for financial reasons. But if he loses his job, which he will, um, then what they're going to do? Will she stick around then or will she just leave? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you got to think by leaving a comment below this video. Don't forget to leave a like and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Later taters.